Hey kids, do you remember Bubsy? The hell do you mean you don't remember Bubsy? This is Bubsy 3D. Bubsy visits the James Searle retrospective in honor of Bubsy's 18th birthday. They're bringing Bubsy back. Bubsy 3D visits the James Searle retrospective as an int is a web-based edutainment experience. Look, Bubsy's reading along with us. This is the best thing I've ever seen. All right. Made by Arcane Kids. Excellent font color choice. Um, explore your re relationship with art as you guide Bubsy through a realistic recreation of the James Turrell retrospective at the Los Angeles Country Museum of Art. After you have played Bubsy 3D and understand art a little better, Arcane Kids encourages you to visit an art museum in your area and quit video games. Let's play some Bubsy, shall we? Ah, yes. Exactly is how I remember it. Yes, I remember that part too. So we've got Bubsy. We've got these yarn balls, just like normal Bubsy. Hey, Bubsy! Hello, other Bubsy! Or no, you're the, you're the frog. Can I jump on you? I can jump through my drugged out brother, I assume that is. Excellent sound effects as well. Let's go get this yarn marble. Yarble. We got a heart! Hello. Bubsy, you should check out the art museum over there. I heard it's a blast for learning. As a cat spider jumps by. Cat spiders sure are great. Oh no! No! Bubsy! Bubsy, no, you've really gone off the deep end this time. Excellent. Oh, you can glide. It's that same old Bubsy experience. You can glide by- I just found that out, buddy. You can glide by holding jump. You'll need this technique to get over to the thing. Hello, Blue Bubsy. Blubsy? I'm gonna call you Blubsy now. Wee! We're like Spyro now. Spyro and Bubsy had a baby, and it's pretty... It's exactly how you'd expect, and that's not a good thing. Let's get this marble here. Woo! Look! It's the Los Angeles County Museum of Art! No! No! Bubsy! Oh god. Let's... Let's not talk about what's behind us. Let's just never think about that, ever. It didn't happen at all. Let's get this yarn ball, shall we? Understood, let's get this yarn ball. Alright. Oh, there are yarn balls over here. We must get... Well, let's see what's on top of this building. Uh... That's exactly how I would expect physics to work in a Bubsy game, honestly. If you never played Bubsy, well, the first one, pretty weird. Hey, no! Bubsy! Bubsy. Bubsy. We talk about your falling addiction. It's just, it's not healthy for you, bro. It's, it's really not. Boop! Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get that heart while we're at it. We've got zero out of a thousand points. I'm not sure. I can, uh, I'm trying to collect the. Why is it flo rolling around there? Oh, excuse me. Fans are so cool for a hot day. Just glide over one to get a boost. Right on. Exactly, Mr. Frogs. With your glitched out texture. Man, this this sure is the Bubsy experience. If you never played Bubsy, it is exactly like this. That feeling of being on all kinds of drugs um, and not understanding what's going on. That is the... is the Bubsy experience. Okay, I don't think it's us. I don't think it's us. Alright. <laughs> Excuse me. We almost have 20... Bubsy! God damn it, Bubsy. You're slightly worse in 3D than you are in 2D. Actually, if you never played Bubsy 2, it is actually a very... It's a... No, Bubsy! I know, Parker, I know. Um... It's actually a much better game, in my opinion. It's a very different game than uh, Bubsy 1, but I enjoy it a lot more. Partially because of, like, save points, and it's not, like, kick your butt hard. At least not... It's not frustrating hard. What happens if I get 21 out of 20? Absolutely nothing. Okay, I was expecting the fabric of the world to tear apart, but this is fine, too. This is it, the James Serial experience. I just have to walk inside. All right, let's talk to this giant frog, though. Always talk to the giant frog before you go into the museum, kids. He has much wisdom to tell you. I see. 
Thank you for kind words, noble sage. Oh god, no. Bubsy. You're no Spyro, Bubsy. You are no Spyro. Did you just wall kick? You don't need to wall kick, bro. You're not a wall kicker. This is not a wall kick game. Apparently Bubsy had a 3D PlayStation game. I never played that one. But it was apparently incredibly awful. This is it. The James Turtle exhibit. Oh man. Oh. Oh. Night at the museum. Do you see what they did there? Do you see? This elevator seems so broken I should probably turn back. Ah, the museum experience. Please delete me, I'm just a tech demo. Excellent. James Turrell. Oh, he died next year. That's... Hmm. Oh, no, it's... Oh, I, I see. No, never, never mind. I can read. I can... I read things sometimes. I can't believe Bubsy. You gotta get cultured. If you don't get cultured, you know what happens? The moth children eat you. That's what happens. It's very unfortunate. People seem to really enjoy this installation art. Can we get that cheering sound effect again? I wanted to enjoy it for longer. It's an oddly localized sound. <laughs> that is a very oddly localized sound. I like it. Alright, let's get this yarn ball. Luke Green. Rajuke Green. Cross counter projection. With three people of slightly different sizes. These light works are reminiscent of primitive 3D computer graphics. Yes, they are, Bubsy. Yes, they are. You know, art is cool. Winking smiley face with a nose. Let's grab this ball between this guy's legs. Excellent. I don't remember this one. Light defies form, but light also has a form of its own. Light has thingness. You know, the thingness of light is a quality that is really underappreciated in today's post-cultural modernist society, and I really find it quite... quite unfortunate. This is where art is made, kids. You just get these big boxes, and you gotta assemble it yourself, but, um, you know, you really just order it. Hence the uh, increasing decline of the quality of art in uh, our society today. You see, computers really do kill art. This this is where it happens. They kill art, and then they shove it in boxes, and then they put it in a museum for you to enjoy. That's how art happens. I'm sorry you had to hear about it like this. Ah, yes. The practical arts. Always underappreciated. There is so much art right outside your house. There is a giant art museum literally eight feet away from your home, and you've never vis visited it. You know why? Because you're a monster. You are a monster. And you disgust me. This piece, it's like as if light is a form of architecture. Damn. B minus. Hey, I wasn't done reading your bubble. It's not normally okay to walk inside of the installations. You know what, Bubsy? Shut up. Let's slip by here while no one's watching. It's a snake! I just I just noticed that. The little Huh. Has he been there the whole not the whole time? James Strill says if you use the medium of light to tell a story, you're using the power of a story, not the power of light. Deep. You're very small, sir. I'm not a kid. I'm freaking bubsy. I'm old enough to smoke, man. I think. I don't know how old you actually have to be to smoke. Is it eighteen? It's probably I don't know. I never smoked, you can probably tell. It's the other me! Hello, other me! I heard the final piece, St. Elmo's Breath, is unreal. Oh, unreal is a good game, we shall enjoy this. That was a good game. It is on Steam and you should purchase it. It has very good music and it's a good classic first person shooter. I'm expecting my payment from Epic Games anytime now. St. Elmo's Breath, Space Division Construction. You know, this is exactly what it's like to visit an art museum with all of these variously sized people shouting loudly and waving their fists at the installations. It's actually quite distracting. Well, let's see what this final... Oh, wow. Wow. 
This piece is so impactful, it feels almost as if you could walk inside of it and just walk around. See, it's just... It's almost as if you were inside the painting and just... Wow, I, I think I need a minute to... I think I should just take a nap here. And, you know, drink in the experience that I have just had. I think Bubsy needs his rest, too. That's right, Bubsy. Just, just, just drink it all in. The experience. The glowing ball of yarn. Falling into a crevice. Bub's sled ride? Alright. This is also what it's like, this is what it's like to leave the art museum. You see, you've thrown the shackles of conformist art behind you, and now you're into the grunge phase. And you see, you've got the browns, the reds, the blacks, all of the important grungy colors. And you've got the skulls, those are important. Those are very important to modern art. And as you go, you see a big wheel of spikes. That symbolizes the wheel of spikes that is in all of us. Yep, that's inside of you right now. It's pretty disgusting. And this represents the eternal blackness of my soul. And also a cat. And some weird... thing going on with the- oh god. I don't even... I don't even need to mention what just happened there. We got snakes! Can we pick up snakes? We sure can! There are a thousand snakes to collect. Can you collect them all before the time limit? Oh god, they're dancing. You see, this this is what happens when you realize the futility of art. You see, just skeletons start dancing, and there's lava everywhere, and your face is from hell. But there's redemption. You have no alternative. The wheels of capitalism will forever grind our bones to dust. And that's great! Let's jump into this pit, shall we? No object, no form, no relief, no salvation, no object. Please insert disc. I do feel suffocated by my responsibilities sometimes. Thank you for asking. And this, this is what it's like to walk in the parking lot of an art museum, in a drunken stupor, after you've had eight margaritas too many, and they throw you out. And then you go to Applebee's, because why, where else would you go when you're in a drunken stupor, but to Applebee's, and just kind of wreck the place up, because you've had an incredibly inhuman amount of alcohol, and there's an ant. Oh no, it's art. Ants are like art that is just small and insectoid, though, you know? If you really think about it, ants and art are one and the same. They really are. Art, no relief. Thanks for playing. Produced by Arcane Kids. Follow us on Twitter for more games at Arcane Kids or go to http colon slash slash arcanekids.com. You unlocked ghost mode. Type in the cheat code ghost on the title screen. Well, okie dokie then. Can I... Can I restart? Well, let's refresh the page there. This requires Unity if you didn't know. You probably didn't because you just watched the video and didn't play it. You're a terrible person, by the way. Alright, let's go to the cheat. Oh, okay. We were already at the cheat zone. Alright, let's check out this ghost mode. Oh, we're just... Oh god, with a spider cat! Spider cat, spider cat, oh god. Did I just see inside my own fears for a second there? I'm pretty sure I did. Ghost chat! Oh my, you can, you can float. Did I just say Oman? Oh Ghost cat! Let's see what's up over here. Oh, I can't fly. Oh wait, yes I still can. Man, there's no more, there's no other ghosts in the ghost chat. I was looking forward to so many ghosts. Aw, oh, it's just a frog upside down. I can't pick up the hearts. Mr. Frog, Mr. Frog. No, Mr. Frog, please! 
<laughs> Mr. Frog, what did I ever do to you? Alright, well... There doesn't seem to be anyone else in ghost chat. Wait, how do I raise my ghost level? Can I type ghost? No. Can I possess people? Let's see if this area is any different. Yeah, it's not. Unless I can kill people. Murder! Murder the ki- oh. oh well. Oh, there are other ghosts in the ghost chat. Oh well. We have seen what this game has to offer. I hope you have soiled yourself either in appreciation for the uh, contribution to art that Bubsy has given us, or in plain terror, as I have myself. Yes. And I would just like to take a moment to let ever remind everyone that Bubsy is 18 years old now. He's old enough to buy cigarettes and stuff, and he is a legal adult. If you will excuse me, I'm going to lay down in the shower and cry for a while.